Okay, everybody, so if you were in class on Thursday, you heard this, but if you weren't, um, just want to make sure everybody's up to speed. So we have um, uh, are doing the next step with our poll, uh, quality assurance, quality controlling the data. And so we've created a new version of our poll, of our poll data, excuse me. So here's where stuff used to live. Now uh, we're looking in the QA, QC folder, in our shared folder, and it's this one that says master October 20th. Uh, version 3. So this is the current version. So if you entered in any data after 4 a.m. on Thursday morning, you should double check and make sure that it's entered correctly in here. If not, you should enter, if there's the last few polls or something, that's where you should enter it. Um, and so everything's here. Now just note this is very similar to our previous data sheet, but I've added a few of the gray columns, a few of these things that weren't in your uh, existing sheet. So if you're just raw copy the rows from the old sheet and paste it in it, it won't line up properly. So you can paste chunks, but make sure stuff is, is aligning properly if you have a, a, a missing poll you need to enter or something like that. The main thing that we're doing is going along and checking and, and making sure that uh, things are passing the smell test. So first, first and foremost, um, uh, right here, um, yellow indicates I or somebody else saw that there might be a problem with something. In this case, th this person said they ate 100 ounces of seafood. That's totally possible. Um, in this case, we just flagged it to make sure that, that it's right. So when there's a concern, when there's a worry, when there's a problem, the cells get highlighted yellow, um, where you just highlight the cell and you come up to the bucket and you say yellow. Once you um, assure, you check it and you know that it's, um, it's cool, that, the, that you either fix the, let's say we fix the problem, then you just come up and, and get rid of that yellow. Um, and if this indeed is, is correct, if, this, if you looked at your sheet and it said, hey, they actually wrote in 100, I just come back in and make that um, uh, reset. Uh, as you're looking through stuff, uh, if, you do, if, it, uh, if you do find something that is, um, uh, is like, oh my gosh, that's the way it was, um, then, so for example, in this case, this person um, indicated that it was answered, but they gave no answer. So that's clearly an error in data entry. So you just go fix that. Um, but maybe it was a case where they had ticked two things, weekly and a few times a year, let's say. Um, and you go back and check the original, um, and it, you find out that, oh my gosh, that, that actually they actually did indeed tick two things. So we'll need to resolve that. So for that, just change it to another color, change it to something like, um, you know, you know, green. So at the end of this, this weekend, we should have no yellows. Everything should either be resolved or it should be flagged green that, yeah, that's what it says. And then in fact, we'll go in and we'll make a decision as to whether we're going to, um, uh, you know, delete that from the data set or how, how we'll handle that. Um, so there should be no yellows. And so, so what I'd like you guys to do first is go in and go to your data and just scroll around, see if you see any yellow to start with. And if so, address those. You guys still have your polls. You can, you can uh, uh, look back on, your, on the, the poll um, and, and do the answer the other, and, and do the data. The other thing is if you scroll down to the bottom here of our data set, scroll down. Okay, you'll find everybody's name. And everybody's been assigned... Um, a range, a, a certain number of rows. So in this case, uh, uh, Sebastian got row 1164 to 1209. And so what I want you to do in that case, if that's you, you're gonna scroll up to wherever your, wherever your rows are and just eyeball it, right? So this is a first pass of, of making sure things look good. So make sure that there's a date entered and a county and all that kind of stuff. And then we come over here, just you know, make sure that there's one tick entered for each, uh, you know, each, um, uh, option and so on and so forth. If you do find something that, that is a miss, um, you would just go up and flag it yellow, highlight it yellow. Um, and so, so through this through this process, we're, we're making sure that we don't have any major data errors, many any major data gaps. Once you've gone through and you've done, you both looked at your uh, overlooked overchecked your data, but also checked somebody else's data. You can just come in here and say that yes, you've you've indeed done your checking of those rows. If it turns out those rows include things where nobody's entered data or they're, they're, you know, they, didn't, they didn't do those surveys, no problem. Um, just go ahead and you know, skip to the rows that indeed have data in them. Okay, 
So great. So, so this weekend we're working on that and we're working on getting uh, the data ready to, so we can start doing our final graphs or at least have the data ready for final graphing and visualization next week. Thanks, everybody.